My name is Joe Van Wyck and I am a photographer in Austin, Texas. For more videos like this, please subscribe below. I just completed the Eric Kim Conquer Your Fears Street Photography Workshop in New York City. I'm here in my hotel room listening to the beautiful sounds of jackhammers and honking taxis getting ready to head out to Newark Airport and fly back to Austin. I thought I'd share some things that I learned from the weekend and, and some ways that uh, really I think the, the workshop in general has helped me grow. <laughs> Pick them up, throw your hands in the How's air. Let's go, man. The black bone beats on the break, the thorn, I get it on. I'm dropping nickels and dimes and quarters on the microphone, flipping them saves, I get it on. Through the break, the thorn, I rock on. Heaven knows I'm What are you doing? Do you know this guy? The first observation that I would make about uh, the weekend and his style is uh, enthusiasm. I wasn't really sure what to expect. I mean, his blogs are, he has some really distinct, sometimes black and white views of photography and the world and life and uh, in general. And so I didn't know what kind of guy that he would be um, face to face, you know, in the flesh. Crunch out nice and low until you can feel your thighs burn. Don't forget to look up. A number of us were in this little classroom that they had rented out over the weekend um, near Bryant Park in New York. And when he came in, it was all smiles and fist bumps and high fives. And uh, it was just, it was just a fun and awesome and light experience. My favorite photographer is Joe, representing <laughs> Austin, Texas, baby. Before we knew it, we were doing toe touches and and uh, stretching, and we were uh, sharing. He had us do some exercises where we shared some simple things, you know, like what it is that we love about photography, and that was um, that was helpful to get to know each other. But um, in no time at all, we were out on the street shooting away. And I'll tell you what, that uh, enthusiasm of his went a long way to uh, keep the energy level going throughout the day. I checked my little pedometer app on my iPhone at the end of the day and I'd walked nearly seven miles. So it was very physically demanding and mentally demanding too. We learned so much and he was a great a great guide on how to navigate the streets photographically, I guess, of New York City. Well, it's second day of the workshop. We're having a blast. And today we're gonna to focus on triangles. <laughs> so what's the point of that, Eric? So I think when you're out shooting street photography, you're trying to work on your composition. Focusing on one thing at a time is actually a good thing. So obviously when you're usually shooting street photography, to just photograph anything is a good thing. But Sometimes it's just a little bit too much to work on and too much to look at. So triangles are kind of like this like holy spiritual symbol that you see across antiquity. It's true. Triangles have balance, they're strong. Actually, chairs or tables with three legs are actually more stable than tables and chairs with four legs. Uh, you see it in the mythology, like three little pigs, you know, Jesus, the three holy men. So triangles will make more dynamic yet simple pictures and this triangle is everywhere in the world as long as you look for it. Questions 
um, a lot of real nuts and bolts questions about my camera, um, his experience in search engine optimization and social media, uh, Lightroom questions, he answered them all. We spent time in Lightroom, got to learn from his techniques. This is a guy who's only 29 years old and has published more than 3,000 articles. He ranks number one in when you search for street photography on Google. That is a huge, huge feat. So I wanted to, I wanted to learn from that guy. And, and the thing that I didn't expect is he didn't encourage us, like individuals like me, for instance, to necessarily follow his path. I'm not the author that he is, but maybe YouTube is my thing. Um, some people might, uh, they might want to uh, get known in their s smaller neighborhood uh, in their respective cities. And, and he did a good job of, of uh, sort of teaching us uh, to, to stick within our skill sets. One of the things that I've liked during this workshop is this idea of going out with assignments. Yesterday afternoon, we went out with the assignment of catching hand gestures. Okay, so this guy's really aggressive. My takeaway from the weekend, you've got to take the shot. If you're walking down the sidewalk or standing on a street corner and you see a scene unfold and you get that little tickle inside, um, you got to take the shot. And most of the time that's acting opposite to our emotions. It's acting uh, opposite to what the fear inside is telling you. You got a good face, man. He had us do an exercise where we went out and he wanted us to get 10 no's, as in ask 10 people or more, just ask person after person after person uh, to take their photographs and um, not stop doing it until we had gotten 10 no's, kind of a classic sales technique. And uh, it was very effective. And I'll tell you what, he practices what he preaches too, because he had told us earlier about a fear of his of photographing police. And I saw this cop and this <laughs> this scene, and I challenged him to go to go uh, photograph it. And he did. He went right up with his medium format Pentax camera, and uh, and and got the shot. A good one too. Come on, man. I'll do it. <laughs> It was a fantastic weekend and uh, this idea of conquering your fears was just what the doctor ordered for me. I do feel like um, my fear level is down and my enthusiasm and excitement is up.
I love photography. It's still magic for me. That whole way that uh, we, we, we set up a scene and it passes through those glass elements and goes onto the sensor and we pull it up in post-processing and do our thing and then we go put it out there in the world. It's a really special thing. I'm feeling real blessed and fortunate. Thank you.